Good morning. This is Good Business San Diego. I'm Roy Robertson. And today I'd like to welcome back Jim Bottrell, a former U.S. Marine and the broker and founder of Ardent Real Estate Services and the Jim Bottrell Real Estate Team. Hey, Jim, welcome. So many people that I'm talking to, you know, they're talking about waiting for home prices to settle back down. What goes up must come down, they say. Is this a good strategy? Uh, real simple, no. 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 Uh, we may see some leveling out of prices coming uh, pretty soon. I'm not sure that we will. Uh, that would be an interest rate driven thing. Uh, because interest rates will go up, that might put some downward pressure on prices, but we have a shortage. I'm, I'm not worried about our, our market here. Um, National Association of Realtors predicts uh, this year that we're going to have a 6% rise in prices, but honestly speaking, I think that's going to be a little light for what we're going to experience here. And in San Diego, uh, we tend to go a little bit higher than what these projections are, so you don't see the prices coming down. No, no. Uh, it's all relative. I mean, real estate is a long-term game. You know, I always say this. You don't wait to buy real estate. You buy real estate, and then you wait. Right. Um, but what those people are concerned about is, you know, the market crash like we saw in 2007 through 2010. So let's talk about that for a couple of minutes. Back in those times, you know, like that big run-up we saw in, what, 2002 through the end of 2006, um, we saw an overabundance of buyers with relatively few homes to buy. You know, that may sound familiar because that's kind of what we have right now. Um, however, there's a key difference. Um, the overabundance of buyers um, was because the lenders had dropped their qualifying criteria. Um, they just basically gotten rid of it. There was even a, a loan called a ninja loan. That was a nickname, but it stood for no income, no job, no asset. So it literally meant you can get a loan for five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars if you have no job, no income and no assets, meaning you don't have a penny in the bank, but the bank's saying, hey, no problem, here's 600 grand. Right. Um, well, the results of that behavior was buyers buying homes. They had no business buying. I mean, I had a gunnery sergeant that worked for me from, uh, that between 2004 and 2006, he bought 18 homes using the Ninja loan. Wow. And he was competing against other buyers that were also using the Ninja loans. So that caused a huge spike. I mean, you have people who have no business buying homes with free money, running the prices up. And I, I call it fake buyers with fake money. And that massive run up was followed up by all the lenders all at once realizing, hey, wait a minute, we have a bubble full of ninjas. And my thought is, what did you expect was gonna happen on that one? So late in 2007, we had a 34% first payment default rate, meaning 34% of people didn't make their first payment. And that was a big problem. And then all the lenders got together and realized that they had a problem, so they immediately shut off all the credit, meaning even people who with loans couldn't get, or with, uh, with full uh, ability of, of paying back the loans couldn't get loans. And that caused a massive crash. And you know, if you look back at 1929, the big, the Great Depression, that wasn't caused by the stock market crashing. It was actually caused by a lack of credit. You know, for example, store owners couldn't get lines of credit to fill their shelves full of goods. And that's a problem. That's what actually caused it. But what we're experiencing today in this run-up is much, much different. Everybody since 2010 has had to fully qualify for their loans. And so I have no concern. It's the best paper that this country's ever written. And that's an important difference between today and back then. People have equity and people qualified for the loans. And those things are very, very important. So the lending process has been reformed. No more ninja loans. So you can still no. get uh, interest rates low as, as a buyer. But the time to act is now. So, Jim, we're going to have people call That's you right. to set up a consultation. There's no obligation. There's no cost. Jim will break it all down for you. He's done that for me. He'll do it for you, too. Call 800-498-SOLD, 800-498-SOLD, or jimhasthebuyers.com. Good Business San Diego is a paid advertisement brought to you by the Betrell team.